This is your killer booty lift workout where we are going to tone and chisel every little muscle in your booty. And this is a part of the Bar Booty Lift series where you can download your guide with a link below absolutely free and join our amazing community. And don't forget to tag me in your sweaty selfies for the chance to be featured here on my channel, just like these ladies right here who are getting amazing transformative results with my workouts. All right, you don't need any equipment. Grab some ankle weights if you wanna take up the heat. Let's Let's get started. All right, let's get into our workout. I have my ankle weights already ready to go, so put them on if you're gonna be using them for this workout. If it's your very first time, I would recommend to not use them, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start right here on all fours, and we're gonna warm up the body a little bit by pressing up into a downward dog, and then coming right back down onto your knees, coming on up, and lowering down. So what I love also about bar workouts is that they stretch and mobilize your body as you lift, tone, and define your muscles. I mean, you can't get anything better than that, right? Where you walk away actually feeling more open and lifted rather than tighter and constricted, right? And weighed down. All right, just a few more just like that, just to allow yourself to open up through the legs, and then we're gonna use this down dog in our workout. So I want you to think about lowering down nice and slowly, using your core as the knees tap the floor, really controlling through the body. Use the core, good. So now we're gonna add some legs. So we're gonna come up into a downward dog, lower down. We're gonna kick back with the left leg and kick diagonal. Step it back into downward dog. Good, just like that. We're gonna do 20 times. Kick it back, kick it diagonal. Tap it down, come back into a downward dog. Good, nice little combo here. Keep it going up, cross, tap, and back. Beautiful. And I love this because it really helps to keep the whole body alert and awake as we open up and stretch the legs. And we also work the arms as we go back into a downward dog, using control as you lower down. Good, keep going. So we're doing 20 right here. No rush. Taking your time, nice slow controlled movements. I want you to feel all of your muscles. Sometimes we move really fast in our workouts and this really allows you to connect, create mind-body connection, maybe with new muscles that are sleeping, so you can awaken and tone your body, especially those little smaller intrinsic muscles halfway there. And then I want you to come back into the downward facing dog. Nice pedal at those feet. And slowly roll over into a high plank pose. And then I want you to take your slowest chaturanga ever all the way down to the floor. Nice and easy and slow. Good. Now we're gonna stay here on the floor. You're gonna bend the knees up so your legs are in a nice little, almost like a little froggy position back there. And you're going to take the left leg and I should put the right one down and we're gonna cross over and then bring that knee back down to the floor, okay? So you're gonna work that cross right there, squeeze the glute, straighten out the leg, and then bring it back down. Nice. 
So going across and in. So I want you to feel that little catch right here at the top of the glute and then lower back down 20 times just like that. Elbows are bracing down, so I'm really kind of bracing myself here, using my core as I squeeze up at the top. 17, good. 16, 15, it doesn't have to be super high. 14, you wanna just focus on that top glute. 13, shoulders are down. 12, keep going. Breathe, make sure you're breathing. Usually that's the first thing to go. So nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Good job, come on up. We're gonna lay on our side, right elbow down. Left leg is straight. So this whole time we're working on our left leg, then we're gonna go over to the right leg after. So you're gonna swing front, swing back, swing front again, but then take it all the way up to the top, just like this. Make sure that you're not sinking here, but you're actually pressing out of the floor. Use this core here, as if there's a, maybe a little ball here, okay? Touch up towards the toes, bring me back down, swing, swing, and up, okay? Front, back, front, and up, all right? Here we go, nice and fun, rhythmic, graceful movements, and up, good. 20 times here as well. Seven, can you can bring your arms up overhead if you wanna add a little bit more dancer style to the movements. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our next exercise. We're gonna stay here in this little side plank and you're gonna come up, lift the top knee all the way up into that side clam, lifted hip as well, lower back down. Everything rocks over to the side. Just pull those knees in, activating that lower core. Okay, so find a good position on your mat and then roll over to the side. Lift, lower, pull in and lower, so lots of core as we also work these glutes here. Lifting really high, that's the focus, is try to get those glutes up as high as you can, up off the floor. You might roll up, you might roll off of your mat a little bit. That's okay, let's go 20 times like this. Really pressing through the right elbow, coordinating your movements as that other elbow comes to the back, right, to catch yourself. But I love this kind of rocking back and forth because you have to really learn how to put your weight in certain places, carry it with you. A lot of the weight has to stay here in the center, in the core. That's really the essence of dance. That's how they look so graceful is being able to control and transition smoothly from one move to the other. So if it doesn't look smooth at first, that's okay. Just keep practicing. I'm sure you'll get it. Keep going.
hand up. All right. That's a good core work there. I love it. And all these are firing. Feels good. Okay, come sit up here with me. We're gonna tap the foot in front and then we're gonna wrap it all the way around into our pretzel. Let me show you what the pretzel looks like. So you're trying to squeeze. Put your hand here on that hamstring and glute and feel those muscles firing up. So squeeze right there as the toe comes and taps around and you're gonna add a little twist and then you're gonna twist around the other way. Notice how my leg is floating off of the floor. Up and then wrap around just like that, okay? So 20 times, I'm gonna angle it just a little bit so you can see me, and let's go. This is gonna be one that's all about posture. Seventeen. You can always take this at your own pace. That's what I love about bar. It really meets you where you're at. So you could just do less reps if 20 just feels like way too much. Or do more reps if you're feeling it. Don't let me stop you. Okay, keep going. So if you're having a hard time picking the leg up, you can just sweep it and just kind of graze the toe. Oops, graze the toe on the floor if it's too much to lift. Whew. Keep going. Take a break when you need it. Four, hand up, three, Woo. two, and one, all the way up. Oh man, definitely feel that one. Okay, let's come on to all fours. Remember to stay on the left side. We're still working that left leg. We're gonna do all fours. All right, so the legs are slightly inverted to start, and then we're gonna lift up into an attitude then we're gonna drop down all the way into this little split position here, kinda like the pretzel. Bring it back up and then lower down, okay? So again, you gotta use that core, use the arms, really push the floor away, and let's go. And lower, lift, and in. So make sure that you're coming into this inverted position with the hip, rotate it open. Lower gently down. Notice how I have to use my hand and arm a lot and core to get myself back up. Keep going. Control on the way down, lift on the way up. so close, but it doesn't mean that you get sloppy. So this is where you actually get to dig in more, see where you can improve your form more. Maybe it's right here on the lift off, using the core, or maybe it's coming down a little bit gentler, a little softer. Nice, up, last one, lift, lower, finish it out, and 
And good, okay. We get to lay down now. We've got just two more moves on the left side and then we'll switch it out. Extend the left leg, pretty easy right here. And we're just gonna circle it out 20 times each direction. 18, 17, good, 16, keep going. Put all the focus right here on that top glute, the glute need, really create that mind-body connection. Maybe even put your hand there to make sure that it's firing and working. Good, 15. Other way, nice, 20 times. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we've got our last move here. We're gonna tap over in a high plank and then tap out to the side. Now, if it's too much with the hands, you could always go on to your elbows. But we're gonna cross over and tap, cross and tap. Okay, so you can do elbows or you can do hands. I'm gonna do hands, here we go. 20 times, make sure that those inner thighs are locked Thighs are working, let's go, 20. Nine, eight, seven, nice and steady. Three, two, and one, good job. All right, shake it out. We've got the other side to do, lucky us. We have two legs, so let's go to the other side. We're gonna start right away with the down dog to the cross, okay? So starting here, down dog, come all the way down, extend back, and then cross. Good, tap the foot back down, nice and controlled. So you don't want to rush this. See where you can actually slow it down. That's how you build really strong muscles and really strong body control and awareness. Good, now keep it going. Flow at your own pace. Five more, keep it going nice and slow. See where you can maybe engage a little bit more, maybe through the arms, maybe lifting up through the chest right here, pulling into the core, pointing the toe more, engaging through the quad. All these little areas that you can tune into and make it that much more effective for your body. Good, just a, two more, last two. Last one. Good, and then come back into the downward dog. Stretch out the legs just a little bit here. And then roll forward high plank pose. Slowly lower yourself down all the way to the floor. 
and come up onto the elbows. Good, reach the right leg or bend the knee and then we're gonna cross and pull it in. Nice, so that knee just taps right back down to the floor. Cross and down, here we go. Good, so this series is really about control. Being able to slow down your movements. See which muscles need to be turned on in order to smooth out the transitions and the movements. Especially right here as you lower down, you have to really kind of slow and engage all those little core muscles in the back, the sides of the waist, the lower belly, the hamstrings, inner thighs. They're all working here. Good. We're gonna do our leg swings. Love this one. Leg swing forward, back, front, and sweep it up, just like that, okay? Remember your posture here, lifting up tall, not sinking in the shoulder like you're hanging out at the beach, but really have that nice regal position. Let's go. Back, front, and up. And like I've been saying this whole class, I want you to really think about where you can add a little bit more control a little bit more grace through the transition, right? That's how this style of movement really distinguishes it itself from the others, right? You're not checked out, you're actually fully checked in to your body, connecting, and you're doing amazing, I just gotta say that. The fact that you're here, working, taking time for yourself, really says it all, so I just want you to be proud of yourself no matter what level you're at right now. Job. All right, let's go straight into our next move. The clam up to the little froggy crunch here. So pull the knees in. Again, slowly transition to the side, right up to the lift, lower down. Think about getting that hip up off of the floor. Let's go. thinking about slowing it down, using the muscles to control muscle activation. This is what's really going to help prevent injuries because your body knows how to turn on all of these little muscles to protect your joints, to protect your movements. Good. 
keeping that lower core pulled in. Five more. You're doing so good. Four and up. Finish strong. All right, roll all the way over onto all fours, nice and quick. Inverted knee up into the high attitude, slowly lower down, up, and then pull it in. All right, lift and lower, nice and smooth as you come down here. Lift and lower, let's go. See where you can plug in a little more. Maybe it's the supporting arm right here. That shoulder does get a lot of work. Okay, I realize we didn't do the pretzel one, so don't worry, I didn't forget. Just a little bit out of order, but that's okay. So we're gonna tap forward, cross it around. I'm actually gonna take off this ankle weight because we don't need it anymore. And it's kind of hitting the floor, so I'm gonna take that off. All right, let's keep working here. Wrap it around. Woo. It's a good one. <laughs> a little twist up at the top. Try to get taller as you twist, okay? Wrap it around, squeeze that glute. I want you to really picture your glute and your hamstring in your mind right now, firing up, lifting, toning, and getting more defined. A lot of it starts in our mind, that mind-body activation, because sometimes other muscles can take over, and we want to make sure that those are the muscles that are working. So help yourself out by really focusing there in your mind. All right, halfway there, taking a little break. We can do this, 10 more, and then we've just got two more exercises after this, and then you are all done. All right. Think how regal can you be with the crown of your head, your chest, really beaming out confidence through your chest and your heart right here. Go ahead, four more, four, and up. Three, and up, Woo. two, and 
One, and up. Nice job. Okay, let's lay over to the side. We've just got our little leg circles. Seems like nothing now after that one. Okay, little circles here. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Good, keep it going. And if you don't feel it a lot on the glute here, Def, take the leg and just kind of scooch it back just a little bit back. See if you feel it more there. Okay, so I really want to make sure that you're feeling it at the top of the glute there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. We've got the other way. Good. So, of course, lifting, toning, defining our booty is nice aesthetically, and it can be a great motivator for us. But another thing is that it helps keeps our hips really strong. Also helps to support your knees. Because a lot of the lack of strength from the hips, if you don't have strong glutes, the pressure then goes down into your knees. So if that gives you some good motivation as well to stick with it, just remember that. That you're always working to keep your body as strong as possible to prevent, to prevent injuries, right? Eight, seven, Six, good, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, this is it, last move. We are here 20 times, high plank. Good, get the strongest plank you've got right now. We're gonna tap out, cross over, and you've got this. 20, 19, keep it going, 18. Really lock out that leg, engage the quad. This is it, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, you did it, I encourage you to go do one of the cool down stretches that I've got here for you, and then amazing, amazing job. You did it, big high five for you. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep creating videos like this for you. And if you're ready to transform your body in just four weeks, then download my app starting risk-free for seven days. The link is down below and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.